All right, guys, what's up? As you guys know, the car exhaust or the exhaust on the car ends right there. I want to bring it out through this hole. I'm gonna cut out about from here to here. So, yeah. two and a half inch. Um, this is just a 18 inch tailpipe extension plus this piece. And then I'll just tack this one inside, uh, tack it on the ends and then at some point go weld it all the way around. But it should seal up just fine. Uh, I don't care about an exhaust leak this far uh, outside the exhaust, whatever. So that is the piece that I'm gonna be adding into the bottom of the car over there. All right, to start off, I am going to be putting slit on this side and then on this side as well, just so I can, uh, when I clamp the exhaust down, it'll actually clamp and shrink. Uh, so that is the first step. That's exciting. All right, and now onto the frame. All right, I just took the exhaust under the car, marked it up, so I have to weld it. It's got a little bit of an angle on it, so. I think around, once I get these lined up, like that. Alright guys, so I shittily tacked it all together. Um, it's got a little bit of an angle to it, just so it can rest a little bit higher coming out of the frame. Um, and now I'm going to go put it on. It's completely dark outside, so I'm not going to really film that. Alright, so what I'm using to attach this all, I just bought a $3 exhaust clamp. It's a two and a half. Uh, inch exhaust clamp from AutoZone. And here are some of the shitty tacks. Uh, and then I'll go back and try and weld that better next time, but that is that. Alright guys, so it is on. Looking cool. Oh jeez. Okay. So, it's kind of hard to see. Let me get the light. Um, so there's where it is. So, we've got turbo downpipe across into the resonator from my SRS cat back. And it makes that um, like 45 degree bend. And then we're going out from there. Um, the only thing I gotta worry about is speed bumps now. Just because we are full, like two inches lower right there. So, that is the only downside to this. Um, and then also, the brake line is there, so um, I've touched my exhaust right after driving it, and this, well, this part didn't get hot at all right here just because it's so far away from the exhaust or the engine. So I don't think I'll have to worry about this uh, melting, but I'll take it for a cruise, see how much it hots or heats up, and if I need to take it off, I will. <laughs> the exhaust, that is. All right, guys, what's up? So, um, one more issue with this side exhaust. Uh, it does hang a little bit low. Uh, I am gonna put side skirts on the car at some point. So those should hopefully take up at least to like right there-ish. Um, so it will look a little bit more in place. Um, another issue is 
it is totally just wobbling. So right now, I have some pieces, some old exhaust pieces that I'm just gonna hammer flat. And then I drilled a hole into the frame right behind here. Um, so we'll have a piece of the old exhaust. I'm gonna tack it um, to the exhaust and then drill a hole in it so I can bolt it up to that hole right there. And that should fix the issue and the exhaust will be totally solid and it'll look a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so I was trying to hammer it down, um, but then I found putting it in the vise. And now it's flat, so yeah. So I got the bracket made, um, so I have it mocked up. I'm going to tack it, um, and then it should be good. So this is what I got, some shit welds. Just garbage, but it's on there. So, happy with that. 